Hello everybody. Just a few minutes of your time to show you what I've discovered regarding to the microwave systems set across our country that are causing quite a lot of sickness that I believe. I've discovered in a timeline, old timeline magazine, books, timeline books, on the bottom line it says clear as day right here hope you can see it don't have a lot of focus camera stuff but right here on the second to last line it says 1958 CBC completes cross Canada microwave network 1958 CBC completes cross Canada microwave network 1958 I don't know how many of you people have known about that, but I've had some senior people that are older than I am, and they don't know nothing about that. That's in one of these, hidden in these timeline books. We have a lot of information that we've uncovered regarding to microwave systems and their dangers. Finding the North Pole signature is one thing, but this microwave thing is dangerous. These weaponized systems, these antennas that are carrying 390,000 gigawatts of juice each. That's a weaponized system. Altogether, that's over a million and a half of gigs of juice. They turn that up and we're fried. And all these documents that I have here, and I have hundreds of pages that I've gone through. These are medical records, medical records and statistics through the years, medical cancers all through the years showing all the different cancers heavy duty including the two cancers that I've had lymph node and melanoma severe but I survived it and now I'm questioning it the microwave system I believe is behind the lack of population in this country and all the sicknesses tumors in the children and all the illnesses that are going on right now that we are experiencing regarding cancers it's definitely microwave I mean cancer cancer in Sydney alone in Cape Britain is high since 1979 that would be enough time from 58 turning on the systems and frying us slowly causing tumors as far as I'm concerned it's a no-go it should be stopped and uh, that's it for the microwave report Got a lot of other questions I'm going to answer soon. Pretty soon I'm going to be able to tell you who killed the Shermans. That's one question that's been left on my desk. And about the hockey team accident in mid Canada. So standing down for now and we'll see you soon. This is the Good Things to See World News Desk. Standing down for now.